Hello guys, so today we will talk about continuous charge distribution. Till now we have talked about point charges, multiple charges, but in practical life we deal with the charges much greater in magnitude than the charge on electron or atom. So we can ignore the quantum nature of charges and imagine the charge which is spread in a region in a continuous manner. Such a charge distribution is known as continuous charge distribution. So now we will consider a Q0 charge which is lying near a region of continuous charge distribution. It, this region can consist of large number of point charges which is dq. So the force uh, experienced by the q0 charge due to this region uh, or the number of uh, charges is equals to the q0 upon uh, 4 pi epsilon naught into integral of dq upon square of distance between them and r cap we are using for the, dis uh, for the direction. Here we are using the integral of dq because dq is a re small region and by integral uh, we can uh, get the total number of charges lying in that region. So this is the equation by which we can get the force exerted on q0 charge due to uh, region, a small region of charges or multiple charges. So now we will talk about different type of charge distribution. The first is volume charge distribution. It is a charge distribution spread over a three dimensional volume or region V of space. Here we can see that the dq is the charge number of charges contained in the dv volume and q0 is a single point charge. Uh, so here rho uh, den uh, denotes the volume charge density which is equal to the charge per unit volume. Uh, we can uh, we know the formula of volume which is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube so by putting the value here we can uh, get that rho is equal to the q upon 4 by 3 pi r cube coulomb per meter cube the second type is surface charge distribution here uh, ds is the charge distributed uh, in the oh and in the ds surface area and the q0 is a point sing a single point charge here the surface charge density is denoted by sigma this uh, surface charge density is defined as charge per unit surface area uh, by putting the value of surface area of a sphere we can get that sigma is equals to the q upon 4 pi r square so the last type is line charge distribution. It is a charge distribution along a one dimensional curve or a line L in a space. Here DL is the point and DQ is the region of charge. Uh, so we can define that line charge density at any point on this line uh, is equals to the charge per unit length. Here lambda is denoted, by, uh, denoted as line charge density which is equals to the dq upon dl we know that the length of a line uh, or a sphere or you can say circle is equals to 2 pi r so by putting the value here we can get lambda equals to q upon 2 pi r coulomb per meter so thank you guys